Hi there, um, I just wanted to do a video about how to create a nice looking cutting list. Um, now there's several ways you can do this, but what I want to do first is just literally figure out a way of putting all of the wood on the floor. Um, you've got two different woods here, you've kind of got like a mahogany sides and I think it's rosewood shelves. So what I want to do first of all is just to kind of create a place where I can put the wood all together so I can get an idea of how all those sizes, how big they'll be all together. To do this, I've drawn a square on the floor and I'm going along the blue axis. What I'm also going to do next is I'm just going to rub out this corner here and it comes up with like the blue, green and red axis. What I'm going to do next, I want to do this non-destructive. So I'm going to actually use the move button and I'm going to shift, uh, sorry, compress, press control and I'm going to move it across. You might notice actually that this is off the floor. So this is the reason why I've set this sort of template or jig up so that I can actually move my uh, pieces uh, easily. You might notice as well it's, it's easier actually to connect to something which is a line going straight up which is the blue axis and then move it down otherwise you end up with moving it all around the place. Once you've got one in place you can get rid of that line. Okay. Um, so I've got five of these so all I need to do now is duplicate them five times. So I'm just going to take the corner of this. I'll take the, this corner please. Thank you. And I'm just going to take that corner again. It's easier because then that's the corner where it connects to the last piece. So you're always kind of thinking, oh, it's the workflow here. There we go. And there's loads of different ways of doing this. I mean, that's the mistake I often make is I keep on duplicating by mistake. So there we go. Let's just get that a bit more accurate. I want this literally edge to edge. There, I'm happy with that. That looks correct. Now, when this is done, this is fantastic because I can just actually measure the entire sort of piece of wood. What I want to do next is this, and I want to make sure one of these, because this is a different one entirely, I'm just going to make sure that that is completely selected, because I've put a holes into this as well, and I'm going to make sure that it's a component, yeah, I can make it a component so it wasn't a component in the first place. So what I'm going to do with this, once again, is just move it out using the control and move. I'm going to move it across. Well, this is what happens. You can just delete the other one if you make that mistake, like I have a tendency to do. Just going to move across. Now, the problem with this is that it's standing up. How can I get this to sit down? I'm going to use the rotate tool, go along the green axis, anywhere along that line, and rotate it down on its face. That's going to be 90 degrees. Um, okay. 90. Very good. I'm just going to go back and have a quick look to see if that's laying on the floor flat. Perfect. Okay, it saves me a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do is just duplicate that one last time. Also, I've got these dowels, which are 55 long and 6 on the diameter. So I'm not going to duplicate those for the sake of like timing but they are there and I need to consider those and I need to have how many shells we've got? We've got five and there's two going in each time so that's 20 in total. Uh, okay so let's orbit round and let's just move this out. Just this one here. Going from that corner of course control and that all fits together quite nicely. That worked out well. What I'm going to do is go to the measuring, to the dimensions. It's the second one, and I'm going to do an entire dimension of that, which is 600. An entire dimension of this, which is one and a half meters, which is a slightly more than I think what the sort of uh, what what it would normally, you know, the stock sizes of this. So you need to kind of consider when you bit of further research that you can do on your cutting list is you can look at stock sizes from your local 
um, wood merchant. There's plenty of them. Um, thickness as well you can include. So I'm just going to do that. 20 millimeters thick. And the other one has got a different thickness. And all of this information I'm going to show you now. I'm going to put this into a table. The dowels as well, but I'm just going to focus on this now. All right. Now, a nice way of showing this is going to the... Let's get rid of the materials. If we go to the scenes, and you do plan view, and you just zoom in on this side, and you can very quickly see all of your um, measurements really easily. And this is also really great for a screen grab or print screen. Now, I'm just going to switch on my Excel sheet. I've already prepared this. Uh, and it's going to just split the screen there. And basically, um, I've already put the, um, the different shelves. Actually, that's an additional one from something before. So I'm just going to delete that away. Yeah, I'll shift them up. So I've got the shelves. So quantity is going to be five. Um, now I can actually talk about the individual sizes of these shelves as well just by placing um, some more measurements on them so I can talk about the individual sizes as well and I think I'll do the same for here as well I think that's also is that more than 300 I can't remember let's go corner to corner yeah it's 300 as well so each of the shelves is 800 by 300 um, I can give an entire length as well, so I think what I might do is I might just do um, I might just insert a table here. I'll say sheet, yeah. Thickness I believe is uh, 20 for the shelves. For the uh, the other one it was 45. Uh, the length was um, 300 by uh, 800. And the sheet itself, we can do sheet length. And I think I'll actually add in another insert. Um, we'll do sheet uh, width as well. So that was uh, length then would be uh, 1,500 or, okay. And then that is uh, by 800. And this is all in millimeters, so you should probably probably mention that say millimeters um, okay so that's MDF and the finish is a veneer so it's a rosewood veneer I think we said veneer. and uh, this just basically so you need that amount of finish uh, rosewood veneer finish as well for example and you might have a varnish as well because sometimes there's things that spell spill on shelves that could be let's say water based so I'll just say WB varnish and expand that outwards. Okay, so let's just quickly talk about the quantity of the uh, posts. Yeah, uh, posts. Uh, we need two, and each one of those has got a length of 1,200 uh, by a, a width of 300. The thickness is 45. The sheet is going to be 1,200 by 600. That's also MDF, but I could say that is actually solid mahogany. It must be expensive. Uh, mahogany. And dowels are going to be probably um, pine. Okay, and I would put polish here. You could use a varnish as well, but it's gonna really darken the wood. Um, so the length of them I believe was 45 and the quantity we need is uh, 20 thickness well we'll say radius is 6 and this is NA and that's NA and that's it you've got your cutting list okay and that's descriptive in a lot of different ways you can set that up any way you want really but that's it, and you just two screen grabs, put that into your PowerPoint, and basically you're done. Hope you found that helpful. Go out and order for, for your wood from from uh, your your local timber yard. Okay, thank you.